Lauren. What a legend. Legend. Happy birthday, Lauren. Thank you for running this wonderful room. Uh, this is so nice. Come all, all, I don't know where I am actually right now. Um, where the fuck am I? I came from Clarendon Vale. This is fucked. Two buses. I had to suck off a cop to get here tonight. This is fucked. So nice to see my wives all here too, lounging about. Good to see you, missuses. Good to see you. Good to see my wives, my beautiful, luxurious wives. This is so nice. This is kind of nice. It's like a David Lynch fucking fever dream here, isn't it? This is good. If I open this curtain up, there's just going to be a giant asshole behind. Oh, no. Just a reflection of one. Very good. Um, that's nice. My name's Rob. I'm from Clarendon. I'm from the Eastern Shore. Um, don't know what else to tell you about that. Uh, me and my nephew, whenever it snows down to sea level, uh, it does happen in Hobart every now and again. You get snow in your backyard. It's quite nice. And his tradition that you make a snowman didn't have quite enough snow in Clarendonville, so we made a snow lump. <laughs> he was pumped. He was like, I love this snow lump. Thanks so much, Uncle Rob. This is the best day ever. That brought a tear to my eye. And then he said, can we decorate it? I said, of course we can. So you've got to decorate it with the things you find in your environment. We made an echidna out of syringes. It was pretty good. <laughs> Found a heap of them. It's pretty good. It's a good technique. Good technique. Yeah. You grab a handful of those cunts when the cops are chasing you, throw them out the window. Get fuck off, coppers! We call them coppers still too, like we're in the 1930s over there. Might as well be in the fucking... I don't know what, what is going on in Clarendon Vale, but I'm not joking. My childhood, everyone's like, oh, you must have burned out cars and you must have fucking been seeing lots of dodgy drug deals. No, we went ferreting. We're like, what the fuck? Does anyone know what ferreting is? Yeah, it's where you tie two ferrets together and throw them at a kangaroo. Like, it's fucking sick. It's badass. Do this. Ferreting. Let's put some nets on a hole and put a ferret down. One animal, we're like Pokemon trainers, basically. If I can put a ferret down a hole so rabbits get scared. Are you kidding me? What in the Charles Dickens is happening? My nephew's a chimney sweep. Like, things haven't changed. It's fucked. We make old money over there. We make old money. I picked, I picked ras uh, no, rose hips. I picked rose hips as a child. Like, you go, it's like time travelling, going that far over. Like, it's real. Anyways. <laughs> we caught up. We got the internet. We got meth. We're fucking cool now, all right? <laughs> we caught up. I feel, oh, look, I'm very aware I'm wearing a beanie right now. And look, it's because I'm a bald cunt. And um, it's, again, like, I, I, I've got to be... You've got to be careful with a beanie when you're a 30-year-old guy, all right? Because if you have too much of a foreskin like that, Everyone thinks you're a fucking DJ, and I'm not. I don't know about beats, all right, wives? I don't know about beats. If I had a vape pen right now and this too, too much foreskin and a big giant dumb cunt necklace, I'm going to get hired from, from, by Mona real soon. <laughs> real soon. Um, what I was going to tell you about... Uh, Living in Clarendon, of course, talking about that. Um, you meet your first dealer when you're about 12. Um, you're related to them, probably. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, but they always have cooked pets. Like, not just a dog, right? A, like, not just a dog, but they've got, like, they've got, like uh, a magpie for some reason. Like, how did you get that? No one has a magpie as a pet. No, he's my little mate, mate. I feed him mints. I knocked off from Woolies. What are you doing? I just came here for an in-and-out drug deal. Like, let me go. <laughs> One guy... Do you, want to buy, do you want to buy a snake? What? <laughs> yeah, I've got, got a snake for sale, mate. Can I see it? Yeah. I'm not joking, this is actually true. He pulled out a fucking Mountain Dew bottle and there was a snake inside of it. I paid $1,000 for it. Like, it was fucking <laughs> sick. Like, I was the coolest kid at school the next day. It was pretty sick. It died, obviously, but I didn't know snakes had to breathe. I just didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Pokemon trainers. What a weird... Um, what a weird joke, eh? Hey, um, <laughs> uh, yes, right. I've, I've, uh, I love this time of year. Goth Christmas. Dark, uh, is, is dark mofo. That's all right. I liked your little laugh then, too. You sound like a tiny horse, whoever did that one. 
boom, boom, boom. That's good. I'd bet on you. I'd bet on you. Um, Dark My Foe, of course, uh, Goth Christmas. And I've been warning my nephew, Brocklin, bogan name, I know. Brock, we call him for short. He has a frullet and a mullet. I don't know. Aerodynamic, very aerodynamic kid. He could be running flat out and you could kick him and he wouldn't fall off course. Like, tough little cunt. I love him. Anyways, I told him, I said, this time of year, mate, you've got to behave. If you don't behave this time of year, all right, it's got Christmas time, mate. David Walsh won't leave a little cup of shit out for you. All right? <laughs> if you misbehave, little man, if you misbehave, David Walsh is going to come up from the carpet like Freddy Krueger and fucking rip you back to Mona and employ you. Like, you're... <laughs> Don't want that. He's like Willy Wonka, isn't he, David Walsh, isn't he? Willy Wanker, I call him. Um, got him. Fucking got him. Sting. Let's go. Oh, got your dick. Uh. What? Now it's mine. Uh, you can, I'll give it back. I'll, I'll give it back after class. It's all good. I can keep it. Oh, thanks, man. Feed my kids with that. That goes good in a stew. That's like stock. That's like a good stock. That's a good beef bully in that. Your penis goes far. Your penis goes far. It's not very wide, but it goes far. I lived in Clar uh, Clarenvale all my life, and then I moved out for a little bit over to this side of the river. Yuck. And then um, moved back to God's country just this year. Um, best tap water going. I'm just going to call it right now. Clarenvale has better tap water than you dirty dogs. Um... <laughs> And I'm, I'm laying the gauntlet down. Sweetest bongs I've ever smoked. Like, not very harsh off the top. Quite nice. I don't know. This cunt smoked a couple of cones. What's going on? What's going on, Daddy? Fucking... No, I'll be, I'll be kind. That's fine. We can share a bong later. Let's go. Um, Clarenvale. Yeah, I moved back there. And um, the neighbourhood hasn't really changed that much. But I did move back in with my dad to save some money. I want to be a stay-at-home son. Um, it's always been a dream of mine. It's actually where I want to see myself um, in the next forever. And um, he's a good man, I think, my dad. I think he's a good bloke. I think I love my dad. I'm not quite sure. I, I, I do know I like to catch up with him after... Uh, <laughs> sorry, fuck that joke. Right? <laughs> I love my dad. I think I love my dad, but I might be addicted to secondhand smoke as well. I'm not sure. Because he's a puffer. He's constantly, you know, like constantly going, puffing. I'm just like, do I like him or is it just like the nicotine, maybe, you know? Or I do know I like to catch up with him after I've had a root. That's pretty... <laughs> like, it's just kind of tradition, isn't it? To half a bunch of secondhand smoke after you've had a cum. Um... <laughs> After you've had a cum. Yeah. I like the face you pulled then. You looked fucked. Um, that's what I look like when I cum. Oh. An asshole can do it too. It can. It, and, um, I do like catching up with my dad after I've had a root. It makes it a lot easier if he's in the room with us. <laughs> That's not how we used to do it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he told me what doggy style meant when I was about 10, which was pretty funny. I said, what's doggy style, Dad? And he said, it's when, when you let a dog root you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told that, that joke at school. Expelled. No. <laughs> it's great. Didn't need school. I had my dad. It was great. <laughs> Clearly. Um... It's funny that age though, that period of time when you realise uh, your parents aren't the smartest people in the world. That's, that's a big turning point. Oh, I hit mine very early, believe it or not. Eight years old, saw Dad put barbecue sauce on ice cream thinking it was chocolate syrup. And committed to the bit. Ate around the cunt, didn't he? Just, nah, didn't make a mistake. I like the salt, I like the salt, I like it. I worked with him for a bit. Doing construction, wasn't bad. Nice and easy job. Dad's the boss, daddy, I called him. And um, one day, I'm driving across the bridge and he's there angrily texting and he's got an old phone, he's got a dumb phone. T. I. A. F. 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 My thumbs are too big, fuck. I'm like, I'm not wanting to buy it because I know he's angry. He's angrily texting, all right? 
And I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. This is going to be a whole drama. We're driving along over the bridge and I start grabbing the wheel because he's got both hands on the phone now and that's when, you know, business is bus- <laughs> real serious. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm like, what's wrong? And he goes, <laughs> he goes, oh, this ca- look at that. What's that there mean? And the word comes up and he's got it highlighted and this guy sent him a message and all I saw was a briefly and it said karma. He goes, what's that mean? Karma. I said, karma, uh, basic, uh, it means uh, what, goes, what goes around comes around. He goes, ah, yeah, fuck. That's good. All right. I thought karma was a bloke. <laughs> what? And I read the message and it said, karma's going to catch, catch up to you. <laughs> and I said, what's going on? What's happening here? He goes, ah, oh, this bloke thinks I fucking ripped him off, sold him a bobcat and it blew up a week later. And I went, oh, fuck, did you rip him off? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. no, it was fucked. It was fucked. There was something wrong with the hydraulics. I fucked him. Um... <laughs> I just love, that's what I mean, like, my, oh, that, that logic of my dad is so beautiful, as, you know, as well. Like, he's a, quite a smart guy in lots of ways. Like, if you need him to weld something, got him. If you need to um, have um, illegitimate brothers and sisters, got him. Um, <laughs> but they're out there. They're probably here. How you going? Are we related? No. Good. All right, shush. Um, but he thought that karma was a bloke. He thought there was a guy out there who was going to, like, break your legs and then go on the other side of the world and plant two trees. Like, karma's going to catch up to you, cunt. Like, I thought that was pretty scary. Anyways, (laughs) that's my dad. Um, Yeah, living back there's been fun. uh, He watches lots of documentaries on World War II and he watches MASH a lot. (laughs) Fucking MASH. He loves MASH. He's mad mad about MASH. And uh, I can't stand it. I hate it. I sit there watching every now and again. I saw a documentary the other night that he was watching. It was about hygiene, right? It was about hygiene. I thought that was very fascinating. It said that the human penis is cleaner than most bathroom surfaces. That's true. And I've known that for years. I've always dried my hands on my foreskin. (laughs) It's easy enough. It's right there. I caught one about... We caught one about DNA and genetics... And it's on. It's saying that the human genome is, you know, still very relatively new to human discovery and all these fascinating blah, 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 blah. It just went in out one ear out the other to me, right? Dad's there and I come in, I make him a nice sandwich, put it down in front of him, you know, like that. And I'm waiting for a thank you, you know, because I'm a good son, good boy. I was like, I just made your sandwich. Like, no thank you or anything like that. And he's there munging on this sandwich watching this documentary on DNA and genetics and he goes... I made you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And he goes, you're technically a genetic extension of me. And I was like, yeah. He goes, so I kind of got that sandwich myself. <laughs> 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 Fucking roundabout way of doing it, cunt. Fucking hell. And he's there, he goes, I think Mash is on after this. <laughs> Hey, did you, did you wash your hands? Did you watch that documentary about hygiene the other night? I said, yeah, I did. I fucking dried them too. <laughs> That's all my foreskin jokes. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you.